I made my own underwater spy camera. That'll bloody do the job. And we're gonna watch the footage together. Oh, look at the shark! That is what I'm talking about. A fish. Look at that. And that's what we're gonna be cooking up right down there with Bowie and Bob. Come on. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. This thing is out of control. Let me take you back to the very beginning. And this thing, we're dropping this thing down to 50 meters of water. It's insane, dude. Let's go back to the beginning. Sure. Here we go, fill her up. Here goes $350 straight down the drain. She's a thirsty old rig. The conditions are looking pretty bloody good right now. Look at this, the marina is completely flat, man. Should be a pretty good day out. Another question I get asked all the bloody time, what does this do? Why have you got two screens? So this is what comes with, this is my Lawrence sounder. Then I've got also, I've got an iPad. And this iPad is, um, I just purely run Navionics off this iPad with like a waterproof screen all over it. And uh, I love using Navionics. It's so much better than using what comes in, in built in this. Also, if this ever shits itself, you've got a backup navigation system, especially when we're going out wide to the islands and that, it's always nice to have double. But this, I use so much more than this. I used to use this to find the bottom. This bad boy here to find out exactly where I am and fish the spots. We're going straight out to a bomb here right now. It's not too far out of here. Usually it's fire. Usually it's drop bang, drop bang. See how we go. Look at it. Oi, we're on doggies. It is looking that good. Couple of little crew fishing up there. Let's go. jig going down we're right on top of the fish right now engines in reverse head sticking the ass of the boat into the wind fish on the screen all right this is we're gonna be on ready 
If we don't get fish on right now, fish are fully blown locked jawed, we're not getting fish all day. We are sitting in, what's that, 52 meters of water. Come on. All right, that's bottom. That's definitely bottom. Oh, we just had a knock already. Come on, eat him up, big rig. Someone's playing with it. That's fish. All right, doggies, we got fish on. Look at that, that's fish. Oh yeah, that's fish. Oh yeah, that's fish. Find the fish. Oh, we just pulled hooks. We just pulled hooks on that fish. See that, find the fish, get the fish. There it is. Oh, no way, we pulled hooks again. Some serious fish going on down here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I think I've gone past that school of fish. Put that back into neutral. It's only a small patch of fish. It's very hard to stay on by yourself out here. All right, that's jig on the bottom. It shouldn't take too long. We're right on top of them. Oh, come on. Just missed one. Uh oh, we're gonna have to go neutral. Oh, that's fish. That's fish. Oh, we got fish on. Oh no, pulled hooks again. What is happening? Oh, oh. Oh, we got fish. That's not big. We got a fish on here. Nothing like the ones we were cook catching before. All right, I'm just gonna bring him up real slow. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. That right there is one of the fish we've come out for. That's a coral trout. Smash that 100 gram jig. Find the fish, get the fish. We've fished three or four spots now with no luck. Come out to a place which I call the blocks. That's first jig that we hit the bottom, actually second jig to hit the bottom. Beautiful coral trout. He's easy size, he's gonna be going straight in the esky, sitting on ice, lovely eating fish. Look at that thing. Beautiful, beautiful eating fish. Gonna get him in the esky. Let's drop another jig. There's some bigger fish than this down there. We pulled hooks on some absolute slobs. That's a good way to start the session, but beautiful coral trout. Mwah. Look at that. All right, we're just coming over the mark now. And you can see there, they are absolute slobs. They're sitting about six to seven meters off the bottom. They're just, I'm gonna mark where they are. I'm gonna drop a jig on them. We're gonna get fish on, ready? This is gonna have to work. 100% fish on the bottom here. Just dropping down a heavier setup right now. This is like a PE4 setup. I just got absolutely railed on that little pink rod. Off camera, I just dropped it down and it just got smoked. So I'm just dropping down a 150 gram jig right now. Just to see what else, what that was, man. I got absolutely railed, dude. Oh, jig on the bottom. Oh, that's fish. <laughs> as soon as it hits the bottom, we've got fish on. It feels like a snapper. Not big. Probably all right. As soon as that hit the bottom, fish on. There's a lot of fish on the sounder right now. What do we got here? Beautiful little pinky. That right there is a gorgeous pink snapper. Look at him. As soon as that, that jig was actually fluttering down and he smashed it on the drop. We're not gonna keep this fella, we're gonna let this one go, but here's another beautiful fish. Look at the colors in him. One of the most epic fish. I'm trying to get a Jew fish, so I'm gonna let this bad boy go. Snapper go back strong. Good fish. See you later, bud. That's another fish. <laughs> another snapper. I don't want snapper. Another beautiful little snapper. Come on, buddy. That is what I'm talking about. 
Like, I haven't even been filming out here because it's just every time I'm dropped, as soon as you get a snapper on the deck, they get super vicious and the snapper are just coming up and smashing my jigs. Like, I would have caught about six or seven snapper now. Not that there's anything wrong with snapper, I just don't want to keep them because I catch them all the bloody time. I want to try to get a different, a better, different eating fish. Just dropped a jig down, thought it was a snapper. I'm like, not even going to film this. Not a snapper. Look at this slob. This. Yeah, 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 he's a beautiful eating fish. That right there is a big, dirty, spangled emperor. Smoked 150 gram jig. Look at the colors in these fish, man. That is a big, that's a big spangy, spango. Lovely eating, he's going straight on ice next to that cold trout. We've got two very good fish now. That's me done, I'm not legally, not allowed to catch any more demersals. Still fish on the sounder, they're probably all snapper, but that thing there, beautiful fish, look at him. He's a lovely one. Big long snout on him. Engulf that 150 gram FDYS jig. Sick fish. Look at him. Put him to sleep next to the trout. We're eating good. Now, we're going to do a little bit of science out here. What I've done is I've made an underwater camera, which is going to go. We're sitting in 42 meters of water right now. So when I'm fishing out here by myself, I'm doing these kind of things, I'm always wondering like, what does it look like on the bottom? Obviously you can see the bottom on the sounder, but you can never see the fish actually what they are and stuff. So this is what we're doing. I have dodged up this thing. It's a pole with a big old sinker on the bottom, an underwater GoPro case and a swivel on top. I'm gonna drop this thing down to the bottom of the ocean, put, push the record button and hopefully this thing doesn't explode under the pressure and we can get a little bit of fish footage. See what's down there. First things first, I'll roll on the clips and I'll show you guys making this thing yesterday, Arvo. So. Come around here to the rubbish pile. Down here we've got Mac 10's old sunbed. This thing is flogged out. What I'm gonna do is take a pole off it. Down here we've got a big old fishing sinker. That is a pretty bloody heavy sinker there. We've got a little bit of a sunbed here, hollow tube. Look at that, I can even see you through it right there. Hollow tube, fishing sinker. What the aim of the game is, we're gonna connect that end of the fishing sinker. Oh, it fits like a glove. We're gonna push that over there. And there is our weighted pole. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch a big bolt, nut and bolt through there, secure them together. Not a low. All right, she's a little bit of a tight fit, but uh, we'll get her on. Here we go. That'll bloody do the job. Bang. Nut. Chuck on the other side of that bolt there. Tighten them up. First step. Alright. That. Oosh, that ain't going nowhere. We've got a big old fishing sinker connected to a bit of pole. Down here. We've got a shitload of uh, GoPro accessories, just all random bits and pieces. The one that I'm looking for is the one that I just picked up. This one right here. Didn't even know I had this thing, but it's going to come in handy. What this does is, you can undo these little, little things, grab our big pole, slide the pole over. See, let's go this way. Slide him over like that, tighten him back up.
Boom! Took about five minutes to make this, but this is the idea. We've got a big dirty sinker here. We've got half of Mac 10 sunbed as a pole. We've got a GoPro in a, oh, there'll be a GoPro inside this housing. Up here, we've got a nut, a bolt, a washer, and a swivel. We're gonna connect a bit of fishing line to that. We're gonna let gravity do its thing. Gravity will be pulling that sinker down to the bottom of the ocean. Once that hits the bottom of the ocean, this camera is gonna be recording. Hopefully we can figure out or see fish in the ocean. We're just gonna let it bob around, see what we can pick up. You never know what you're gonna see down there. Probably about 50 meters of water where we're fishing, so uh, see you in the water. So <laughs> All right, here we go. I've got a big rod and reel. I've got the camera attached to the top with a clip swivel. We've got a GoPro, we've got a pole, Mac 10 sunbed, and a sinker. I'm gonna fire this GoPro up. All right, we're on. We're recording on this, I'm gonna send it straight down. We just went over a school of fish. So I'm just gonna send this down. Let's see how we go. All right, we're going down. I'm gonna to have to snap the engine in and out of reverse. All right, we're going down, doggies. This is interesting. What are we gonna see down there, man? We're at 52 meters in water, 52 meters of water right now. I wonder if it's seen anything yet. I've got no idea if this is even gonna work. All right, it says there's fish on, oh, that's bottom. All right, I'm just gonna hold it off the bottom and uh, I wonder if it's seeing any fish right now. It's recording in 50 meters. <laughs> it's actually really hard to figure out if the camera's on the bottom of the ocean or not. Like I don't want it to go slack because as soon as it goes slack, we're gonna get snagged up and that's another GoPro gone. Add that to the 100 GoPros we've lost. But, uh, oh no, what's going on here? All right. I think we're on the bottom, eh? I've got no idea what that thing's seeing right now. All right, we're gonna bring this camera up from the depths of 50 meters, and we're gonna watch the footage together. 50 meters, that camera's down. You might not even be able to see anything. She's coming up. Oh, there's a big school of fish under the boat right now. All right, here's the camera. It's looking good, it's still recording. We are down there for five minutes and seven seconds. Let's see if there's any fish on the screen, eh? All right, it's, it's safe to say we got the camera and the spy device back. Let's see what sort of footage is on this thing. I actually just dropped it down for a second time. We, went over, we actually went over a big school of fish on the sounder, so I was like, I'm getting it back down there. So we dropped it down the first time for five minutes. The second time we dropped it down there for three and a half. Camera, bone dry, not a problem. Let's see if there is footage on this of fish down there. <laughs> All right, we've just dropped it in the water. It is now sinking down to 50 meters. Wait, this is so sick, man. I'll be so surprised if we can actually see what's on the bottom of the ocean. We're probably about 30 meters of water now. 40, we should be near the bottom now. Come on, show us the bottom, big rig. Oh, there's bottom. Oh, look at the bottom. Camera on the bottom. Where's a fish at? Oh, there's a, what was that, a little snapper? Try the little sambo, maybe? I'm looking at this right now through a GoPro screen. It's very hard to see what these fish are. Shark, Brassy! You're kidding. Little baldy snapper. What's that? Amberjack or a sambo? You're kidding. This is the best thing I've ever done. All right, I'm gonna shut up now and just roll some music and see what happens on this camera. Enjoy.
to do is I want to get that camera and drop it into a school of fish. There was a big school of fish on the sounder before at that blocks fishing spot. I'm going to head back up there. We're going to relaunch that camera down and see if we can pick up fish. I'm Right now I'm looking at it on a tiny GoPro screen, but I've seen a shark, seen a big baldy, I've seen a couple of snapper. You guys would have seen that in high definition, big screen just then. How rad, man. All right, we're going back. All right, let's go. Right now, on the sounder of the boat, it's telling me there's a school of fish underneath us. So let's put it down. Here we go, we're on. It's, oh, it says there's fish everywhere. All right, we're going down, doggies. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's watch that footage just then. Camera just entered the water. Camera is going down. So on the sounder just then, it showed me two big fish. Guessing that they're probably, hopefully, dew fish, but showed two big fish on the sounder. I literally dropped this thing on those fish's heads. So let's see what they were. Oh, what was that? There's a fish following us down, man. See that? We've got a fish following us down. All right, there's the bottom. It's not as rocky as I thought. It's heaps flat. It's quite beautiful, really. Look at that. All right. Now I dropped this on a fish's head, so where are they? Can't see much right now. It's nice blue. Oi, what's that? Bro, that's a Jew fish! They're the fish I'm going... Oh, what? All right, there are Jewies down there. That right there is a Jew fish. Look at him. That's the fish I come out for, right there on the camera. Spy camera's done its job. That is a Jew fish, doggies. They're the fish that I come out to catch. Ended up with a big trout and a big bloody... Oh, I forgot the other name, I'm too excited. Look at this. A couple of little pesk fish. Oh, this is too good. You are kidding me. Two Jew fish. I think it was two. It's pretty hard to see. I'm looking through a little GoPro, but look like there was two Jew fish sitting on the bottom there. That's unbelievable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch back in. Obviously, we can't catch any more fish. I've got me fish for the day. I'm going to punch back in towards the mainland now. That first spot that we went to fish this morning, that spot is usually incredibly good. So I want to drop that camera down there and see what's on the bottom. We've got about a 50, uh, we've got about a 25 minute drive till we get to that spot. So I'm going to turn up the tunes, flat stick it to that spot, and then I'm going to drop the spy camera back down. <laughs> oh, this is way too much fun, eh? Hey? All right, tunes are going on. See you guys in about 20 minutes. Ow. All right, we've just come up right now on that fishing spot. This is a very, very good spot. Usually, every time you drop a jig, you get a fish here, so I'm very interested to drop down the spy camera and see what it looks like on the bottom. I know there's a big cave here, so I just gotta be super careful. I don't wanna be getting that bloody camera stuck. We're sitting in 37 meters of water right now, so I can't dive down that deep, no way. We'll have to bring out one of the boys with the tanks if we get the camera stuck, but um, that's another video. Just up here a little bit, we'll drop the camera in, see what the bottom looks like, see if there's any big dew bangers on the bottom. Not too far off. Alright, we're right on top. Make sure that's clicked on. We're right on top of the fishing spot. Go. Deploy, 36 meters. She's going down, doggies. Alright, I'll see you guys when we're checking the footage. Who knows what we're gonna see now. All right, here we go. Camera's hitting the bottom. Pretty dirty down there, eh? <laughs> Wait, that is actually so much fun, dropping that little spy cam down to see what the fish look like under the water. Like, I don't even know, I can't even see what you guys just saw then. I don't know if you, if you guys can see what I just saw, what you just saw then. That doesn't even make any sense. The problem is, is that the GoPro batteries are just going flat super quick. Like, I haven't used that GoPro in like three years. It's an old GoPro 8, which I used to film with back in Indo. So, I'm going to come back out here with a brand new set of batteries. Go back out to that little ledge we're at just then and drop it on there because it's an extremely good fishing spot. I'm going to steam back into the boat ramp now. That is a banging sunset. We've got a couple of delicious fish to cook up. Man, life is good, eh? Look at that. 
That is stunning. All right, I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Peace, much love. All right, I've just come into the boat ramp. It is a glamour afternoon. And then we've just picked up these little doggies. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. I'm driving around in the boat. What do you got? You got a couple of jigs, boys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah boys. Little field day fam. We're on a little bit of a tour of the marina right now. That's the way to do it, eh? Yeah. Why are you so quiet? You were all screaming oh, a second ago. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah boys. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you. Oh. Look at this. That is the haul from yesterday. A beautiful cold trout. Look at the colors in that thing. Beautiful eating fish right there. Big Spango, he's also a lovely chewer. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cook these two fish up. But we've been, I've been asked that many times, where's Bowie, where's Bob, where's Mac-10? So what we're gonna be doing to end this episode, we're actually gonna go down there in the goat pen. I'll show you guys what we've built for the goats. We're gonna cook up a little bit of fish. First things first, we're gonna take a big slab off of this cold trout. It's gotta be up there with one of the best eating fish in the sea. Also the most beautiful looking fish in the sea. Let's rip, rip a couple of slabs off this thing. One more time. Look at the colors in these things. Incredible. All right, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come right behind that petrol fin there, bring that knife right up to the top of his head, and then we're gonna come down, following the backbone of the fish, leaving the scales on. Boom, just like this. Look, I can already see, look at the color of the meat. There's some of the whitest fish meat you get in the ocean. Look at this, man. Fresh as it gets. Big, beautiful fillet of fish. This side, you can make crispy skin chips with the scales. That side, you got some of the whitest meat going. That's what we're gonna be cooking up right down there with Bowie and Bob in that little pen down there. Look at that, but quickly rip one off the other side. Now, if you ever wanna skin a bit of fish, extremely simple, sharp knife. Come in, leave yourself a little bit just to hold on to at the bottom there. Once you've got something to hold on to, keep your knife relatively flat and just shake the back of the skin. What'll happen is the skin will come off You'll be left with a beautiful fillet of fish like that. And you'll also be left with a sheet of skin. No meat left on the inside there. Then with this bit of meat, with this bit of skin, what we do is just cut him up. It's pretty bloody tough stuff, but what you can do, cut it into little pieces like that. Hey, she's slippery. Little pieces like that, salt that up, chuck it in an air fryer, chuck it in a pan with a little bit of oil. That'll turn into a crispy little bit of beef jerky styled skin. Delicious. But what we're here for, we're here for this big chunk of meat right here. Well, my doggies, welcome to the kitchen. Today, we are gonna be making a super fresh, refreshing feed. Right now, it's getting, it's turning into summer here in Australia. It is getting bloody hot. So I wanna show you guys what me and Mac 10 usually make on the road. Something that's super light, refreshing on these hot summer days. But we're gonna go cook it up in Bowie and Bob's pen. So, um. Here we go, boys. Hello. Been a minute since the field day fam has seen these goats, eh? <laughs> Bowie. All right, it's been a minute since you guys have seen Bowie and Bob. Look at the size of Bowie now. He's an absolute giant. He's growing up real quick. This is Bob the Ranger. He's also growing up super quick. And they, these things just eat 24-7. If you guys ever want a fun pet, these things are the things. Look at the horns on him. He's got some solid horns now. Anyway, I wanna show you guys a little enclosure that we built for these goats. We built them like a massive yard to play in, but I don't think we've shown you guys the cubby house <laughs> they live in. So this is the kitchen where we're gonna be cooking up the fish, but this is also the little cubby house which we built for the goats. So they can stay out of the rain, they can stay out of the sun. They just have a hell time in here running around. We've got a little ramp where they can run up. Heaps of room in there, it's spacious. Look at them, mate, they love it. And this down here is going to be our kitchen. This is where we're going to be cooking up that mad feed. So we're just going to 
fire this up. I'm gonna have a cook up with the goats. We come down here the other night, we just had beers and like a cheese platter with some friends sitting in the goat pen. It was a hell afternoon. So today we're gonna be cooking up a bit of cold trout in here. First things first, a little bit of oil in the pan. <laughs> what we've got in here is a little bit of flour, salt, pepper, and just several little herbs. Very lightly dusted the fish. And we're gonna shallow fry them. We don't want it to be too oily because this is like a nice hot summer's day refreshing feed. Just gonna chuck these little crumb bits, coral trout straight on that hot oil. See this stuff right here? This is like drugs for goats. Come on. You wanna guys wanna have some food? There you go, boys. I love it. Look at the size of his head, man. He does not stop growing. What smells better, the fish? Oh, the fish or the pellets? so good. How good the fish smell? All right, first ingredient you're gonna need for this little summer day popping feed, a little bit of cucumber. We've got the fish cooked down here. Just gonna cut little bits of cucumber up. Nice, yeah. summer's feed. You can see summer's on its way. Look at the flies hanging around us right now. Flies are getting hectic. Cucumber. Next thing you're gonna need, a couple of little cherry tomatoes. Slice of lemon, very important. Cut that lemon in half. What about you, you like lemon? Nah, you don't like lemon, Bowie. Little bit of lemon, next thing we're gonna need, this is where the little flavor stations come in. Instead of using like a bread wrap, uh-oh, watch this man. Goats, by the way, eat absolutely everything. So uh, he's about to eat a bit of fish. What do you want, the lettuce? I think he was the plastic bag, to be honest. I just eat everything, eh? All right, so we've got a bit of lettuce here. Excuse me, boys, I'm trying to cook a feed. We've got a little little roll of lettuce. I'm gonna get that fresh cold trout. We're gonna fill the inside of that with a little bit of fish. Next, grab cucumber, tomato, load that up in there. Lemon, fresh drizzle lemon. Oh man, that is a juicy lemon. A little bit of cheese. Sprinkle that on top. A little bit of tartar sauce. Just like that. A light, refreshing, beautiful bit, bit of food. This is what we used to eat when we were traveling around on the road living out of the troopy. You roll it up, it's got this little packet of goodness and it is absolutely bloody delicious. Bowie, come here. Come here, buddy. You wanna have a first try? Bobble ate it, eh? What? Man, these things eat shoelaces and hard sticks, but they don't even wanna eat that goodness. Anyway, give this a crack. It is actually really good. Oh, man. Summer day treats. Oh my doggies, that is it for this episode. Next time we head out, I'm gonna do a few little altercations to that GoPro spy stick and I'm gonna nail it. That was pretty sick. We seen a big shark, two big dirty jewfish. They were actually the fish that we are going for. So that's pretty spun out that you could see him on the camera. I'm gonna put that thing into some dangerous situations and see what sort of fish we can see. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video, in the next adventure. So see you later, buddy. Big Bowie's growing up quick, eh? All right, my doggies. Much love, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. So, How strange is it that they're not eating this? Usually they'd just be destroying this. They chew on this for God's sake. Look at this, this is like a plastic handle. They chew all of that. Oh, here we go. Go on, Bo, get in there, buddy.
camera shy as hell, eh? <laughs>